Welcome back to my Roblox beginner scripting tutorial series. My name is Braldev, and in this episode, we'll be discussing about if statements. But we're also going to be talking about else if statements and also else statements, since they all tie to the same concept. So the first thing we're going to do is go on the right side, and we're going to disable um, any previous script we've made in the past couple episodes. So the one that's currently active is my function script, so I'm just going to disable this. And I'm going to insert a new script inside of the workspace by hitting the plus sign, searching up a script, and inserting a script inside of the workspace. I'm going to select this, right click, and I'm going to rename it to if statements, just like this, hit enter. And I'm also going to uh, X out these tabs for these previous scripts just to make things more organized. And I'm also going to zoom in by holding control and moving uh, inward just like this so we can see the text better. And now we have our proper setup for uh, what we're going to be talking about for this episode. Okay, now if statements, it's a fundamental concept that we need to know uh, when it comes to um, adding logic to our scripts if we want to have a structure of executing specific codes if conditions are met. So what I'm talking about here with conditions is we're going to start with a if keyword in all lowercase. So it's going to look like this. And when we're making a conditional statement, um, it's tied to a Boolean value uh, to determine if a condition uh, either returns true or either returns false. So an example I can give you is if we were to see if two plus two is equal to four, which obviously it is true, but if we were to type this out, so if you were to say two plus two equals four, uh, just like this, then we would have a true Boolean be returned with this conditional. Now you might see some errors here and you might be wondering what this is all about. Um, we can't use a single equal sign if we're trying to compare uh, two numbers together. So two plus two, that's four, uh, equals four. Um, because this single equal sign is supposed to be an assignment operator. So we're trying to uh, essentially set whatever's on the left side uh, to whatever's on the right side. But if we're just doing a comparison, then what we need to do is add another uh, equal sign just like this to make it a comparison operator and not an assignment operator. And so once we do this, then what we're going to do on the right side is say then just like this. So if two plus two is equal to four, then what we're going to do is hit enter. And then Roblox is going to add an an end um, keyword at the end here. So basically, if two plus two is equal to four, then we can um, run whatever's inside of this branch. So we're going to write a print statement uh, saying that two plus two does equal to four, just like this. So now if we go into the game and hit test and hit play, then what we should see in the output is that two plus two does indeed equal to four. Now, let me tell you what happens if this does not equal to four. So if I hit stop and I go back into our script, and then if I were to say if two plus three is equal to four, which in this case, it's not true because two plus three is equal to five. If we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output is nothing being printed because two plus three does not equal to four. That's why it basically skipped this line. So it's not going to print out this statement right here. So I'm going to hit stop again. And now that's basically how we have our first branch with if statements, but there's more we can add on top of this. And the next uh, branch I can show you is an else statement. So basically what we're going to do is inside of our block of code we have over here, we're going to drop two lines like this. It, it could be one or two lines, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to hit backspace so that we have proper indentation right here uh, to line up with the if um, keyword. So we're going to say else just like this, and then we're going to hit enter. So then what we're going to do is add another print statement like this saying the if statement failed um, just like this. So what's going to happen here is it's going to check if two plus three is equal to four. And if it's not true, then it's going to go down to this else statement and it's going to print out whatever is inside of this block of code right here. So if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see is that the if statement failed because we tried checking if two plus three is equal to four, which we know is not true. So that is something you can do with the else statement. And once again, some things to keep in mind is you need to have your else keyword line up with the if statement. Uh, it can't be over here. Uh, and it most certainly cannot be, I don't know, over here or something. It has to line up with the if statement. And you need to have each branch um, be indented like this uh, for each part of the if statement. 
So I'm gonna hit stop and that is basically how we add an else statement to it. But now I'm gonna show you what an else if statement is. So an else if statement is basically another if statement that gets checked if the first if statement fails. So basically what it's going to look like is we're going to drop um, two lines again here and I'm going to hit backspace so that we line up with the if and the else um, accurately. So we're going to say else if just like this. So this is one word else if. Uh, we're going to say if two plus two equals to four. And then we're going to hit enter. And now what we can do here is say print, open and close parentheses, uh, two plus two does actually equal uh, to four here. Uh, just to like differentiate it uh, a little bit. So um, we first start with our if statement. So two plus three does not equal to four. So it's going to skip this and it's going to go down here to check if two plus two is equal to four. This is true, so it's going to print this statement and it's going to skip the else because we know that this is true. So if we go into the game and hit play, then we should see in the output that two plus two does actually equal to four here. So that is our um, if statement structure that we have going on here that I think you'll find to be um, extremely, extremely useful. Now we can add more else if statements if we want to here. So if we drop a line and then go down here, we can write another else if here uh, by saying if one plus one equals to two, then we can print um, one plus one does equal to two, just like this. And we're also going to change this to something different so that um, we can make sure that this one passes through correctly. So if we hit play, then what we should see is one plus one does equal to two. So if we hit stop and go back to our script, we can see the how this logic applies because we start here, it doesn't work. We, we then go over here, it doesn't work. And then we go over here, it does work. So then it prints the message and it basically skips the else if nothing works. The only time it would go into the else is if all of these statements did not work. So you can kind of understand the structure going on here. And it's definitely very important to understand if a certain uh, criteria or condition is met, then, we, then we're going to execute a specific part of the code uh, and not execute the other parts of the code if we don't need uh, to have that. Now, this is gonna be useful for uh, our functions that we've created in previous episodes. So that's actually what we're gonna be doing. So I'm going to select everything here. So I'm gonna hit Control A and I'm going to hit Backspace. So now what we're going to do is create our addition function just like we did in previous episodes by saying local function addition, uh, open and close parentheses, and then we're going to pass in two arguments. So the first argument is going to be number one, uh, and then we're gonna separate this with a comma, and then we're going to have number two as our second um, parameter. So then we're gonna hit enter, and then what we're going to do is have um, our if statement structure inside of this um, addition function so that we can print stuff depending on what the result is from this. So what we're going to do is write a result variable by saying local result equals number one plus number two, just like this. And then we're going to drop a uh, drop two lines down here. And then we're going to make an if statement. So we're going to say if result equals four. So once again, make sure you're using two equal signs, not one equal sign, because we're comparing values together rather than assigning uh, variables. So we're going to say then we're going to make a print statement by saying um, the result is equal to four. And then we're going to make an else if statement by saying else if result uh, equals to, let's say six, then we're going to make a print statement by, by saying the result is equal to six, just like this. And if both of these fail, then we're just going to write an else statement. Once again, make sure that the alignment is correct uh, over here. So we're gonna say else, and then we're going to say print, um, none of these results add up, just like that. And so now we're going to call this um, addition function down here by saying addition, uh, open and close parentheses. So the first number we're going to add is two, comma two, so it's going to fall under this branch, and then we're going to make another addition function call right here, and then we're going to put three and three just like this, and then we're going to make another addition uh, function call by saying uh, four and two, so both of these are going to fall under this one, and then we're going to make an addition function call for, I don't know, some big number like 10 and 10, so now what will happen is if we go into the game and hit play, then what we should see in the output 
is uh, the result is equal to four, so it checked two and two, which in this case, it is true. Then it's going to check for three and three, which uh, does equate to six. And then finally, four and two, which also equates to six. So it printed this twice. Um, and then obviously for 10 and 10, that equals to 20, which didn't fall into any of these conditions. So it went into the else statement saying that none of these results added up. So this is how we can add our if statements to our functions and you can probably think of other ways you can add this inside of your scripts now that we know that we can use conditions to um, execute code when it meets certain requirements. So I'm just gonna hit stop and that is essentially the end of uh, understanding if statements. One final thing I want to mention here is um, understanding what happens if we have two if statements. So I'm actually going to um, delete this else and else if statement over here. So I'm just going to select these two and then hit backspace and then backspace again. So now let's see what happens if we have another if statement. So if we say if result equals equals to four, then uh, we're going to make a print statement by saying um, basically the same thing over here. So I'm just going to copy uh, what was in here. So I'm gonna hit control C and then I'm going to select this and then hit control V just like this. And I'm also going to uh, get rid of these three addition function calls right here just to have this one. So now if we go into the game, hit play, then what we should see in the output is the result is equal to four being printed out twice. Because if we go inside of our script, then it's first going to check if the result is equal to four, then it does print this. But then it's going to go down here to check again if the result is equal to four, then the result is equal to, uh, to four. Now, obviously it doesn't have to be this condition specifically, like it doesn't have to be the same condition, but it has to be um, like two different if statements that meet the requirement of whatever this condition is to then execute both of these um, code blocks. So that is something important to know about when you're using if statements is that if you have multiple if statements, then it's going to check uh, for each of these if statement blocks. But if you have an if else if and else structure, then it's only going to fall under one of those code blocks. And I hope that makes sense to you. So that's basically gonna be it for this episode. For today's learning objective, you basically have a lot of power with what you wanna do with these if statements and also functions and all these other sorts of things. So I want you to definitely experiment with this uh, before you move on to the next episode and see what you can come up with. And once you do that, then I want you to go down to the comment section and paste your code uh, that you feel comfortable sharing to everybody who's watching these tutorial guides as well. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for this episode. I will see you in the next one. Take care.